All right, so in today's video, I wanna to talk to you guys about kettlebell split squat deadlifts, all right? What is a split squat deadlift? Well, a split squat deadlift is pretty much a deadlift where you're starting from a split squat stance, right? So like, let's say I had a, let's say I had a, a hex bar. Usually these things work better with hex bars. You're holding your hex bar, one foot's forward, one foot's backwards, and all I'm doing for my deadlift is I'm in this staggered stance up and down. So I get the, the work from the one leg by getting the ability and balance from the other leg. All we're doing is instead of holding the weight evenly between two legs, we're gonna offset it by having just one kettlebell to the one side while we work. So we can really load and tax the balance, the strength, the stability of the one leg while the other leg is just there to kind of help out as needed. So all I'm gonna do, technically when you do this exercise, you wanna stand toe to heel, right? Keyword technically. You're gonna have to adjust a little bit back to front. What you don't wanna do, what you don't wanna do is start adjusting your leg wide. Then you're gonna start leaning sideways when you do this, that's how you throw your back out, right? So. I start the bell right next to my ankle. I'm gonna low my, line up my stance. Right, my back heel's off the ground. I like to flare my heel out, so I'm only on the outside two toes here. By flaring my heel out, brings me in the head over foot alignment, right, which helps me work better. All I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reach down, and I'm up, and then I'm down. Now, we do a stop and go method. Why? I'm gonna tell you why. One, I think you just get better activation from the muscles as you go. And then for those of you guys with like hip flexor problems, it gives you a split second of relief on those trouble areas, but your heart rate's still going, your legs are still working, there's still tension on the muscles, but it lets you get that harder drive where like when I go, if I go from down to up, I feel a right in my hip flexor. But if I come down and back up, I'm all glue, I'm all posterior chain, backside of my body. And I'm down, I'm up. I'm not looking down, I'm looking straight ahead, level change in the hips and I'm back up. I'm counting the lifts. So if I do 10 lifts, I'm in actual, actuality gonna do 20 split squat lunges. Then I would go to my other side, right? From here, I'm gonna line up, down, and I'm up, and I'm back. Hold on. My left side's horrible. This is from all the years of injuries and shit. How'd I get these injuries? Well, I didn't know the shit I teach you guys, now I do, so now I keep going. But all I'm doing, especially on this side, I really try to use just this leg, and it really lets me focus on getting my left leg just as strong, if not better, than my right leg. Now, I worked out in class today. We did a lot of shit, that's all I'm doing right now. I'm fucking tired. Now, typically what I'll do is this. You saw the noticeable difference from my right leg to my left leg. I did that on purpose. So, how do you do this exercise where you don't get imbalanced, but you can fix the imbalances. That makes sense? You know what I meant. Here's what I do. Whatever number I'm gonna get, 10, 14, whatever. I'm gonna start on my weak side. I'm gonna get what I can. I'm gonna go to my strong side. I'm gonna get all my reps. I'm gonna go back to my weak side. I'm gonna finish up whatever I didn't get. So this way I'm getting the same amount of volume, but I'm not doing this, but I give myself a little mini break to break it up, but I'm still getting the same amount of volume. That'll let the one leg catch up quicker to the other one, and eventually, you're never gonna be even, but it'll get you close. And once again, all I'm doing, and if you do it right, it's gonna feel more like a squat than it does an, actually, an actual deadlift. So when I'm down, I'm bending the knee, right? And then I'm up and I'm out versus like, I mean, you could do these if you wanted to. It's just more of a hinge from the hip. It's just as good, right? That's just not the way I teach it. But it's still a good exercise. You're just taking probably like 80% of the work from the hip, 20% from the knee, where the way I go, it's more like a 50-50 blend, right? But whether you're bending the knee or you're keeping the knee straighter, or you're doing some kind of hybrid, right? Which is always fun and spicy. It's up to you. So those are split squat, deadlifts. Put that in your crack pipe and smoke it. That's a 50 pound kettlebell. We go as heavy as, I think the heaviest belt we have here is 144. Or you can use a dumbbell or a cable or whatever you can imagine, imaginatively come up with. You know what I meant. Great exercise, I definitely recommend trying it. I would do that on a day where maybe you're doing like your heavy upper body exercise and you need something in between your legs. That's something that we're throwing there. It's a phenomenal exercise, especially if you're coming back from an injury. Guys, hopefully that made sense. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for stopping by.